So you're up in blue head, all is going well, and then whack, you hit a wall. This comes in a myriad of forms, a bad call from the referee, the market crashing, the sight of the audience, or bullets cracking and thumping past your skull. When perceived demands outweigh perceptions of your capacity to deal with them, your emotional brain triggers stress and sends you into redhead. The colour red is associated with threat, fear and danger. Terms like red mist, redlining and seeing red represent anger, shock and frustration. Redhead is the precise opposite of bluehead. The flaring nostrils, sweeping arms and sharp gestures say it all. In the red zone, you run too hot, burn up and become overwhelmed and tense. Your emotional engine is smoking, your perception is slowing, the game is running away from you, your decision making is rushed and irrational and you're close to meltdown. In red zone, your heart begins to pound, your teeth grind and your body tenses up. When stress hits, your emotional brain will always act first. The emotional brain is more powerful and reacts faster than the unconscious or frontal brain. You trade in your steely blue head for an emotional freak out. There will inevitably be times at which life triggers redhead. It's impossible to stop this. When the blaze of negative emotions indicating redhead rip you out of blue head, accepting reality is a surefire way to reduce the intensity of the emotions when they strike. Over the last 100,000 years, we have seen technological advancements including quantum computing, space rockets and virtual reality. Despite this incredible scientific evolution, you're still walking around with what is essentially the same nervous system as your caveman ancestors. In any situation in which you perceive threat, you summon the same fight, flight or freeze stress response that evolved to avoid being eaten alive by saber-toothed tigers. You're shunted into red zone. From a hormonal perspective, redhead trades the rejuvenating and motivating super six for the frustrating three stress hormones, cortisol, adrenaline and noradrenaline. When these stress hormones flood your body, the power supply is pulled from your unconscious and frontal brain, forcing them to shut down. Here, your emotional brain is running the show, constantly scanning for threats, conjuring up catastrophic images such as getting fired, markets crashing or messing up a key presentation. Your inner caveman wants to come out. Your instincts kick in and all you want to do is fight, flight or freeze. Fight enables you to lash out and execute a primal attack on the perceived threat, sometimes with incredible strength or speed. You become argumentative, confrontational and aggressive. Flight is opting to avoid the problem, refusing to face it and running away, often hoping that someone else will solve it. Flee behaviours can manifest in modern society in the form of escapism, drugs, tobacco, alcohol, promiscuity and eating everything in sight. When you freeze under stress, you're basically denying that the stress exists and hoping the problem will vanish on its own. You withdraw, avoid or drag your feet. The emotional brain hijacks your nervous system at the expense of your aspirations and priorities, pursuing its own instinctive drives. Everything you know you need to do goes out the window. Your survival instincts win at the expense of clear thinking, meaningful relationships, good sleep, healthy eating and a positive outlook, which digs a deeper hole in a head red hot with negativity, frustration and despair. When you panic and allow these survival stress hormones to take over, you increase the probability of making mistakes, overriding your operating procedures and deviating from the plan. You lose track of what's in front of you and focus on future threats and past mistakes. You replace doing with thinking and risk becoming unresponsive. Remember, elite performance happens so fast there is no time to think. This is what makes performing in Redhead costly to those you care for, compete with and most importantly, those you serve. Most of the time, the event you initially anticipated that sent you into Redhead never even materialises. Consequently, the stress hormones summoned that are linked to virtually every major disease we know of continue circulating through our body. So spending time in Redhead is not just to the detriment of your performance, but more importantly, to your health. You need to consider the obstacles that trigger redhead your biggest competition. If you don't let them take control of your emotion and therefore your next move, you win. Inevitably, life will drag you into redhead at times, so expect it and accept it. Your objective is to ensure that when you do enter redhead, you identify it fast. As soon as you're aware, we can flick the control switch and bounce back into bluehead as soon as possible.